Hello friends, have you ever wondered what are things you need to bring along and want to pet like when you're actually sketching outside? Welcome to Mum Who Sketch. In today's video, I'll be sharing some of my experience when I actually want to sketch outside and uh, what are things I have bring along with me. I hope you can stay till the end of this video with me. As this week is the starting of school holidays, my family will be going for a staycation in Singapore, which means that we are only traveling around Singapore while enjoying the stay in a local hotel. First of all, I'll be talking about these three useful equipment that I'll be bringing along. And uh, the first one will be the left hand this bottle. It contains of uh, clean water. And this is useful for when you actually want to re-wet your paint because the paint that you have is all dry because you actually squeeze from the tube and onto the pen and uh, it can actually help to reactivate your paint so it is very convenient that you can actually bring along the bottle alright this is the Faber-Castell click and go water pot not long ago I actually made a review video about this useful equipment and you can just click on the top right corner for this video I find that this is a very good investment because almost like every painting session I will just use it and when it collapses, it can reduce to the size of about 2cm tall and the height of it can just comparable to the metal palette and next is the watercolor brush that I'm going to talk about it can be useful if you actually own a collapsible watercolor brush because they are obviously shorter and it is more easier to be put inside your bag However, I feel that it is not essential that you need to go and buy it. So right now, I'm actually comparing the length of the collapsible water brush and the normal type. So you can see that it is like maybe two times longer. Other than the size difference, they are actually having the same functionality. So now I'm actually trying to unscrew this um, Da Vinci Maestro uh, portable brush and then to screw it again and to see the length of it so you can see that it is really very short and because of the size it is really very light and very handy so next I'm going to talk about these two normal brushes and there's one useful tip that I want to share with you guys Remember there's this kind of a tube that uh, you normally will get it when you get a new watercolor brush? So don't throw it away because um, in the future you may want to transport your brush and not and to protect it uh, when you want to go outdoor. So what I'll do is I will just keep all this uh, plastic tube and then reuse again. So for this type of small brush, I'll actually use a small plastic straw like this and then I will just insert the bristle into the straw hole just like this so I'll use a pair of scissors to cut it off at the end of the straw and this is how it looks like and I hope this is a helpful tips for you so this is the kitchen towel that I'll actually bring out And I would prefer this type of kitchen towel over those normal tissue paper because I feel that they are more absorbent and they can be reused again The next equipment that I'm going to talk about is this is the most essential of all painting that is the sketchbook in the past, whenever I went to other places, I would actually use a sketchbook to record all this memory down. And if you're interested in how I actually sketch my holiday um, on this sketchbook, you can just click on the link above. Most of my sketches and drawings are using pen and ink, so um, this may be one of the most important equipment that I need to bring along. If you're just going to bring all this into the hotel room and then to pin it, so this may be the recommended equipment that you need to bring. 
So if you prefer like uh, urban sketching and want to uh, sketch at the moment, you may just bring all this equipment as shown here. Lastly, not to forget about this little clip here that you can actually clip onto your sketchbook in case there is any strong wind. Alright, in this session, I will actually share with you how I'm going to pack all this into a small bag that is really portable and you can squeeze everything into it. Of course, you can just pack in your own preference order. And most of all, thank you for watching this video.